Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be designing this funnel and this is a good exercise to learn about the loft feature. So let's start a new part file and see how we can create this. To create this part, I'll start a new part file and click part and click OK. Next, I'll change my units to millimeter. Go under settings, document properties, units. Select millimeter and click OK. Next, we are going to select the top plane and start our sketch. I'm going to draw a circle. I'll give it a dimension. It is going to be 115. Then I'll add a line here that is tangent to it. I'll draw something like this. Select that line and the circle, make sure they are tangent by adding a tangent relation and I'll do the same thing with this line and that circle and add a tangent relation. Let's add a dimension from the center point to this back. It is going to be 102.5. Next, we are going to trim this part out. So we'll trim this out. Then let's draw an ellipse. Select ellipse. I'm going to draw it somewhere here, something like that. I'll click this point and that line and make them coincident. I'll click this point and this line and make it coincident. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Draw an ellipse, something like this. Make this point and that line coincident and this point and this line coincident. Then let's trim the excess out. I'm going to trim that out. Trim this out and trim that out. Now I'll do the same thing over here. So you should have something like this. Now let's add our dimension. Select dimension from this point to this line. It's going to be 38. And from this point to this point is going to be 25. We're going to do the same thing over here. This point to that point, 25. And we can select this point and this point and add a vertical relation. So they are both the same dimension. Next, click on this point, the center point and click on that point and make sure they are vertical to each other and it should fully define it and we'll do the same thing over here. I'm going to select the center point, select this point and add a vertical relation. And finally, we can select this point and that point and add a horizontal relation and everything should be fully defined. Once your sketch is fully defined, we can exit out. Next, we are going to create another plane that is below this sketch. So I come to feature, reference geometry, select plane. Our first reference is going to be our top plane. Then you'll flip the direction and the distance is going to be 82.5. Then click OK. Then we'll select that plane. Go to the sketch tab and start a new sketch. I'm going to go normal to. I'll draw a circle on the origin point, just like that. Now add a dimension to it. The dimension is going to be 25. We have a fully defined sketch. Exit your sketch. And you should have something like this. I'm going to hide that plane now because I don't need it. To hide the plane, right click on it and click the eyeball. Next, we are going to select the feature tab. Select loft. And we want to loft this sketch, select that sketch, and select this sketch. Should get something like that, and click OK. Next, let's select this face, and start a sketch on that face. So click Sketch, and you can select that face again, and click Convert Entity, and I'm going to Exit. Once you click Convert Entity, 
exit the sketch. Then we are going to create another plane. Come to the feature tab. On that reference geometry, select plane. And our first reference is going to be this face. We are offsetting it down. And the distance is going to be 50. And click OK. Then we'll select that plane. Come to the sketch tab and start a new sketch. Going to go normal to I draw a circle on the origin point. Something like that. And the dimension is going to be 11.5. Select dimension. Add the dimension to it. It's going to be 11.5. We have a fully defined sketch. We can exit our sketch. Let me move it down so you can see what's going on. And I'm going to turn this off for now. And I also hide my plane because I don't need it anymore. Now we can come to the feature tab. Select loft. If you can select the sketch here, you can also click on this drop down and select it in here. So we want to loft this sketch into sketch 4. You should get something like that and click OK. Next, we are going to create a shell. Select the shell feature. For the face to remove, we are going to select this face and this face. We want to shell it outward and the dimension is going to be 1.5 and click OK. So you shall have this shell feature. Next, we are going to select this face. Select that face and start a new sketch. Click normal 2 and we are going to draw a slot we select this drop down and select the straight slot. We are going to start our first point there and our second point coming back here and bring it out like that. Then we are going to add a dimension. This line is going to be 67. And from this line to this line is going to be 127. We have a fully defined sketch. Now select this edge. So I want you to select all this edge. It is the inside edge. Select those edge. So I'm holding down the control key to select all those edges. Then click convert entity to convert that entity. Next, we are going to exit our sketch. Then we are going to come to the Feature tab, Extrude. We are going to be extruding it down. And it is going to be 1.5. And click OK. Next, let's select this bottom face. So I'm going to select this bottom face. And let's start a sketch. I'll click number 2. I'm going to zoom in. Let's draw a corner rectangle, something like this here. Right, and let me zoom in so you can see. Draw a corner rectangle. Then let's draw a line coming from the origin point that is touching the center of that rectangle. So I'm going to hover over it until I see that orange dot and I'll click that point. Then I can click this and make it horizontal. I'll make this line, click this line again, and make it a construction line. Then we can click this point and this edge. Let me try that again. And just in case if your feature is jagged like this, what you can do is come to Options, Document Properties, Image Quality, and you can improve this and click OK. And it's much better now. So I can click this point and that edge and add a coincident relation. Now I can add some dimension. The dimension here is going to be 0.6. And the dimension here is going to be 2.5. We have a fully defined sketch. 
exit your sketch. Next, let's draw another sketch. So I'm going to just print this this way. I'm going to select the front plane. Make sure you select the front plane and start a new sketch on it. And we can section this part. So we'll click section view over here and click OK. I'm going to go normal too. I want to draw a line, something like this here. Just draw something like this for now. Then let's click that, select that end point of that line and select this little arc and add a PS relation. And we'll do the same thing for the bottom. Select the end point and select this arc. So I'm holding down the control key to select both and add a PS relation. You should have a fully defined sketch. You can unsection it. So on section your part, just click this again. Then we can exit the sketch. Next, come to the feature tab. And we are going to select the sweep feature. And we are going to select this sketch as our profile. And for the part, we are going to select the line. You should get something like this. And click OK. Next, we are going to revolve this feature three times. So I'm going to come on that linear pattern, click on the drop down, select circular pattern. And in here, select in here, and we can just select this circular edge. And for features we want to pattern, we can either select it here or we can select it down here. So you can select it down there. For the number, we'll change it to three. And you should be patterning it three times and it should be equal spacing. The preview looks good and click OK. And finally, let's select this top face. Going to select this face and start a new sketch. Going to go normal two. Let's draw a straight slot again somewhere in here. Something like this. Click the center point of that slot and this origin point and add a horizontal relation. Then we are going to add a dimension from this line to that line is going to be five. And we are also going to add another dimension here for this line. It is going to be 23.5. And we are going to add the circle. Click on the circle. Let me zoom in. Starting at this point, draw your circle like that. Then let's add a dimension to it. It is going to be 12.5. Then we are going to use the trim tool. I'm going to trim this out. I'm going to select OK for that. So now all we have to do is make sure that our sketch is fully defined. I'm going to click this point and this point add a vertical relation. You can click this circle and this line add a tangent relation. We'll do the same thing here add a tangent relation. And let's do it this circle and that line add a tangent relation. This circle and that line add a tangent relation. The next thing we can do is add another dimension from this line to that point. Let's make it 14. And our sketch is still not fully defined. To figure out what's wrong, you can try to move it around. You can see that point is broken, so I'll click this point and that point and add a coincident relation. So everything should be fully defined. Let me back out to show you something. Anytime your sketch is blue like that and you don't know what you need to add, just move it around and it will give you a clue as to what is broken. In our case, it is this point and that point. So I'm just going to add a coincident. And my sketch is fully defined. I'm going to exit my sketch. Now I come to the feature tab. I select extrude cut. And I'm going to select up to next and click OK. 
And finally, the only thing we need to do now is add an appearance. I'll click on appearance and I can select color and add the color to it. Then come here, select the appearance here and under your appearance, it should be showing under here, right click on it, click edit appearance and you can change the color in here to whatever you want. I'm going to select this color and click OK. And if I turn this on, that is what makes it glossy. And this is how you design this funnel. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.